So hello, hi, and a very good morning to all of you guys, and welcome back once again to another session of PIB two four seven. In today's class, we'll be talking about the PIB news from eighth to tenth of March two thousand and twenty three. Yeah, so let's begin with the class without any delay, and I hope your preparations for the upcoming RBI Great Big Examinations are going well. So let's talk about the very first question, which says, which ministry has launched Swachhotsav, which is a three week women led swachhta campaign as a run up event to celebrate women's day as we all know women's day is every year of international women's day is observed on 8th of march right so as a run up event to celebrate women's day this swachhotsav has been launched by the ministry of housing and urban affairs right so it is the ministry of housing and urban affairs that has launched swachhotsav now remember it is a women led swachhta campaign right pura ka pura focus kiske upar hai women ke upar hai and it has been launched under swachh bharat mission urban 2.0 right now you must be wondering what are the objectives of this swachh utsav campaign so remember it will recognize the transition from women in sanitation to women led sanitation now we are not focusing on women in sanitation now this campaign will focus on women led sanit sanitation right it will also celebrate women and their leadership and contribution towards a sustainable future and it will also create a peer learning network and encourage women at large to join the mission of urban swachhta basically it recognizes the role of women in swachhta in cleanliness all right <clears throat> now the duration of campaign will be from 10th to 30th of march 2023 and these events were launched during the event first of all women icon leading sanitation and waste management which in short is wins challenge for the year 2023 has been launched and it is the first such challenge right <clears throat> it is the first such challenge wins challenge that has been launched by ministry of housing and urban affairs and it will recognize high impact women entrepreneurs or women led enterprises which are working to achieve urban swachhta right then swachhta yatra has been launched and under which representatives of all the 34 states and uts will be traveling across the country as swachhta dudes and will be mess and, and will be spreading the message of swachhta in every nook and corner of the country right and then there is a such mashal march mashal is nothing but torch like we have an olympic torch right so under it what will happen cleanliness drives will be held at public places open plots water bodies railway tracks and wherever it is required right so that is all about this swachh utsav and now let's come back to the question so which ministry has launched it it is ministry of housing and urban affairs option d is the correct answer which is headed by mr hardeep singh puri all right So now let's talk about question number two. What is the total budget of Khelo India Das Kadam tournament, which will be organized by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sport to celebrate International Women's Day? Right. So total budget, I have to tell you. This tournament as a whole is not important for the examination, but since it is for celebrating International Women's Day, it becomes important. Okay. So remember, the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sport, which is headed by Nurak Singh Thakur, has launched this Khelo India Das Kadam tournament. now this has been launched to provide a platform to those women athletes who are unable to participate in any national or state level competition all right and of course to ensure that competitive sports reach untapped geographical areas theek hai jahan jahan pe bhi sports nahi pahunch pa raha hai wahan tak pahuncha jayega through this khelo india das kadam theek hai it will feature 10 sports that will be held across 10 cities in the country and of course you don't have to remember the names of all the 10 sports disciplines right although i have put it in the pdf but you don't have to remember at all that is not at all required right and the total budget for this event will be rupees 50 lakhs 50 lakh ka total budget hoga theek hai and that is the question so therefore the correct answer guys will be what option e rupees 50 lakhs because that is the total budget of khelo india 10 kadam tournament moving ahead to question number 3 ministry of chemical and fertilizer has celebrated jan aushdhi divas on 7th of march 2023 to increase awareness about pradhan mantri <coughs> bharatiya jan aushdhi pariyojana how many functional jan aushdhi kendras are targeted to be set up by the end of december 2023 so they keep on changing changing this target right pehle 9500 tha uh, previously it was 9500 before that it was 9000 now they are saying that they will uh, the, the government the ministry of chemical and fertilizer will set up 10000 Pradhan Mantri Jan Aushdhi Kendras by the end of December 2023, right? So they keep on changing the target, so we need to be aware about it, right? And for that, I am here. Don't you worry, okay? 
So let's talk about Jan Aushdi Divas. Then we will come back to the question. So it is the Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizers which has celebrated Jan Aushdi Divas on 7th of March. And of course, that was for increasing the awareness about this scheme. Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushdi Pariyojana. Right? The theme of this event was Sasti Bhi Achhi Bhi. Now here, uh, Sasti Bhi Achhi Bhi means uh, we are talking about medicines. Right? With, we are talking about medicines. And the whole objective of Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushdi Pariyojana is this only to avail, to make, you know, to provide affordable medicines. Right? That is the main objective. And the theme is in line with that. Sasti Bhi Achhi Bhi. Now, these were the events which took place uh, during the event. Jan Aushdi Jan, Ch ye, uh, Jan Chetna Abhiyan, Pratigya Yatra, Ek Kadam Matra Shakti Ki Yor, Bal Mitra, Jan Arogya Mela, Ao Jan Aushdi Mitra Banai, and celebration of 5th Jan Aushdi Divas at state or UT level. Now, you must be wondering that do we have to remember the name of all these events? Of course not. A big no. Not at all required. Okay? Now talking about this scheme, so remember it was launched in the year 2008 by Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizer to make quality generic medicine available at affordable cost and it is being implemented by Pharmaceutical and Medical Devices Bureau of India. Okay. Remember under the scheme, dedicated outlets which are known as Janoshdi Kendras are being set up across the country to provide generic medicines at affordable prices and as of March 2022, the latest data is this only. 8819 such kendras are functional across the country. Okay, maybe you will find some any anything any else data regarding this, but they keep on changing the data. Don't uh, worry too much about this data. Okay, government has set a target. This is important of uh, setting up of 10,000 kendras by the end of December 2023. And already there are 743 districts in the country which have this Jan Oshdi kendras, right? Talking more about it, so remember in the product basket there are 1759 drugs and 280 surgical items, right? And medicals, medicines actually are available at a very affordable cost, which are priced 50% to 90% less than the market price, right? So this is how government is achieving the targets. Okay, ji. So that is all about it, and now let's come back to the question. <clears throat> So how many Jan Aushdi Kendras are targeted to be set up? So that's 10,000 option E is the correct answer. Question number four. Pe aajate hai si baat pe. Yeah, so which of the now this question is about that wins about only wins award that we have discussed uh, during Swachh Hotsav. So which of the following statements are correct about recently launched women icons leading Swachhta wins award 2023 to highlight the impact of women in sanitation and waste management, right? So first of all, it has been launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, right? It is the first edition of WINS Award. And the objective of these awards is to recognize the women entrepreneurs who are working in the area of urban swachhta, right? The applications for these awards are uh, open for self-help groups, for micro-enterprises, for NGOs, for startups, and for individual women leaders. And remember, these are for women only. These awards are for women only, okay? No men are allowed. Now, these are some of the uh, areas for which the awards will be given. Uh, management of community or public toilets, septic tank cleaning service, treatment facilities, municipal water collection and or transportation, operation of material recovery facilities and etc. And of course, again, a big no. You don't have to remember all of these. Not at all required. So that you guys would be able to you know, understand that what actually government is doing, right? Now, these awards will be given at three levels. Number one is urban local body level, right? Uh, where the ULBs will evaluate entries and nominate up to five applicants. And those five applicants will participate at the state level, right? And from the state level, up to three entries in each category will be nominated by the state. And those three nominees in each categories will participate at the national level. And at the national level, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs will set up a jury to evaluate the applications and accordingly select winners. Okay. So that is all about it. And let's identify the incorrect statement. No, correct statement. So it has been launched by Ministry of Jal Shakti. No, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Abhai. Its applications are open to self-help growth, micro. Yes, this is correct. And some of its thematic areas are municipal water collection and transportation. Ye bilkul sahi hai. So two and three are correct, which means option D is the correct answer. Right. I hope this is correct. Uh, option D. 
Moving ahead to question number five, which organization under Ministry of Science and Technology headed by Jitendra Singh will be or, uh, launching exclusive research grants for women scientists under its Aspire program? An exclusive portal has also been launched in this regard. All right. So the Aspire program is being implemented by CSIR, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, and this. Uh, CSIR will be launching an exclusive research grant for women only under its Aspire program, right? The women will be provided research grants to carry out research and development in these areas, which are life sciences, chemical sciences, physical sciences, engineering sciences, and inter or transdisciplinary sciences. Okay. And the funds will be provided for staff, GRF, SRF. Uh, RA contingency and minor equipment and the maximum funding that will be provided, the maximum stipend that will be provided will not exceed rupees 30 lakh. 30 lakhs is other stipend. Nahi diya jayega. Hai ji? So that is all about this also. No need to go into much details, and therefore the correct answer is option C. Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, option C. And now let's move ahead to the questions in short, guys. Uh, but before that, if you want to have the PDF of this session, join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. And now let's talk about question number six. Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare in association with which organization or organizations will be organizing national workshop of bamboo sector development and bamboo exhibition in New Delhi. So this will be organized by Invest India and Kerala State Bamboo Mission. And that is why the correct answer is option D. Question number seven. India is amongst the fastest growing fintech markets in the world. It has the highest fintech adop adoption rate globally of how much percent, which is significantly higher than the global average rate of 64%. So in India, the fintech adoption rate stands at 87%, which is much higher than the global average adoption rate of 64%. So option D, 87% is the correct answer. Question number eight, where has the Department of Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade along with CII organized India Australia CEO forum, right? So this was a forum uh, uh, which was organized by DPIIT in Mumbai and that's why option C is the correct answer. Question number nine, where has mighty NASCOM Center of Excellence IOT and AI organized Deep Tech Summit Transformation Through Indigenous Innovation? Right. So again, you need to identify the location only. And of course, in such uh, summits, they, they, they generally discuss how we can uh, how we can take forward these areas. Jiske bhi baare mein wo summit hai, usko aake kaise badayenge, uske baare mein hi discussions hoti hai. So no need to go into the details. And Bangalore is the correct answer, option B. And guys, the last question for today, but very, 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 very important. Where was the first common incubation center under Pradhan Mantri formalization of micro food processing enterprises scheme inaugurated? This scheme I have discussed a lot of times, but don't worry when we'll be conducting the revision sessions after the notification, then <clears throat> every scheme will be discussed in detail, right? So the first incubation center under PM FME scheme has been launched at Madurai. Option E is the correct answer. All right, guys. So that is all for today's class. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section and don't lose out your time. Just keep on preparing. Just keep on preparing and just keep on preparing. All right. So thank you so much. And I will see you in the next session on Wednesday. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.